Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. It is NFL Sunday. It is Sunday, October 20th, 2019. I got a free pick coming up in the NFL in just a moment. Hey, don't forget, 33% off the rest of the football season. Still good over at DocSports.com. You go to the homepage, my homepage over at DocSports.com, and you click on the package, and then a little box will pop up, ask you for a, to enter a code word. That code word is... FB season 33. That's FB season 33. All one word. 33% off the rest of the football season. Hey, as promised, as we do on Friday nights, as we do on Saturday nights, we're coming to you earlier than normal on the weekend during football season. We want to get you that free NFL play in just a bit. So we're not completed our card. We got two football games still going on. We got the baseball game still going on. Uh, but here's the bad news: uh, college football. I'm not going to have a winning day, even if we get these final two games. To win for us and that's because I lost the eight star play uh, which happened to be on Oklahoma State up 20 to 10 at one point into the third quarter but after that it was all Baylor and we did not win that game it's the first time we've lost an eight star play since I've been at DocSports.com two seasons now uh, and obviously very bummed about that so anyway, two games underway right now. We'll recap everything for you on tomorrow's video on Monday morning. Uh, also wanted to mention uh, the leftover from Friday night was our UFC pick, which won. We had one UFC pick on Friday night. Uh, that was a five-unit play that cashed. As far as Saturday and what's gone on or what's going on, well, we did cash another NHL play, and we are now 32-17 uh, and 17 is our record. 32-17, and 17, our October-November run in the NHL since the start of last season and talked about this for several weeks now how much we like the early portion of the season in the NHL the first two months and again we're off to another winning start so here's what's going on for Sunday we've got NFL those plays are available right now as we speak I've got five NFL plays for Sunday's card including a six star now the six star plays are six and one in football so far this season we look to go to seven and one with this on Sunday and again uh, we've cashed four out of six Sundays in the NFL NFL so far this season and again it's available right now at DocSports.com. plus units we'll look to go plus units five out of seven nfl weeks on nfl sundays so far this season five plays in all in the nfl six unit play is the lead play on sunday also over at DocSports.com on sunday we have nhl and again as i mentioned we are on a red hot run in the national hockey league since the start of last year october november runs have been tremendous 32 and 17 let's rack it up let's do it again on Sunday. NASCAR available uh, at 11 p.m. Pacific Saturday night right through Sunday up until race time. And you know about our NASCAR record, 11 and 2 with our last 13, 18 and 5 with our last 23 NASCAR races. That goes all the way back to early May, over $5,000, over $5,500 won for those wagering just $100 per unit. So that's all available. The, the, the NASCAR after 11 p.m. Pacific on Saturday night. NFL available anytime as soon as you see this video go over there and grab the NFL for Sunday all five plays NHL will be posted on Sunday morning normal time over at DocSports.com let's rack it up let's have a great day on Sunday uh, we'll get to our free pick in just a moment as always what I'd like to do uh, on uh, Sunday morning videos late Saturday night is tell you where the action is betting wise on uh, Saturday night going into Sunday and as we look around, and, and uh, right now we've got the biggest sharps versus squares battles so far, at least in the books, uh, that report to me is uh, New Orleans and Chicago. Now, New Orleans has taken over 60% of the tickets, but of course, you've seen that line move to the Bears laying about four points at this point. Sharp action, the sharp money and respected money on the Chicago Bears. Now, listen, that doesn't mean you run out and you bet one side over the other when we talk about sharps and squares, but it lets you know where the respected money is. Uh, as opposed to the everyday money or so or the general public money and again public's on new orleans over 60 percent but the money coming in sharp money on the chicago bears uh, the biggest bet percentage wise as far as money is concerned is the new york giants minus the field goal over arizona uh, the book that i talked to reports about 85 percent of the money bet on this game is on the new york giants minus the points by the way, I wanted to mention who was number two in this one, the Miami Dolphins plus the points. That's where they had taken, as far as a percentage was concerned, the second most money. Uh, as far as tickets were concerned, it's on the San Francisco 49ers. About 80% of the tickets have been written on the Niners in that game laying a bunch of points on the road this week. 
to the skins. So just a little update on where the percentages are, where the bets are heading into Sunday. Again, the biggest sharp versus square being reported to me, squares on New Orleans, sharps on the Chicago Bears. Let's get to our free pick for Sunday. We're going to back the LA Rams as they go on the road to Atlanta, laying a field goal over the Falcons. And we know the problems with the Rams. It's been more of an offensive line and passing game problem than it has anything else, even though they went out and got Jalen Ramsey early in the week. He will obviously be great for this football team. There's no doubt about that. Jalen Ramsey is going to make a difference. As far as his uh, value to the line, we saw a few books bump it up a half a point as soon as that trade was made and it was announced that he was probably going to play earlier this week. About a half a point, that was it. Uh, what we did see is Super Bowl odds dropping. I mean, they went from, you know, 30 to 1 to 18 to 1 in one book. They went from, you know, 22 to 1 to 15 to 1 in another book, did the Rams. Uh, so they're, they're banking on, at least a lot of people are banking on the fact that maybe now they can play a little bit better pass defense. They do have a safety who's out this week, but what we like is what's going to happen offensively. Listen, since the Super Bowl, uh, it just hasn't been the same. The Rams attack, and we're talking even about Jared Goff. Um, seven touchdowns, seven interceptions. I think it's eight and seven uh, as far as touchdowns to interceptions going all the way back to the Super Bowl loss to New England. We've seen what teams have done, taking away what they want to do. Uh, stacked an extra man up by the uh, up by the trenches, up by the line of scrimmage to kind of throw off the game that they want to utilize, kind of trying to force Goff into being more of a drop back passer more than what he was doing when he was successful last year. The, th the issue is, listen, I know Dan Quinn has thought of as a defensive minded coach. This Atlanta Falcons defense is pathetic, horrible, absolutely terrible, all of the above. And I think because of that, the Rams are going to be able to do what they want to do in this one, establish a ground game, which means they can utilize their play action game, which is what they want to do. And and because of the defense they're going up against, I think they'll have success. Matty Ryan has had a ton of success throwing the football this year. Check out his numbers last week. Check out his numbers throughout the course of the season. But they're not winning football games. They play no defense. So I think the Rams are going to take advantage of that. I know a lot of people still believe in the myth that West Coast teams do poorly on the East Coast against the spread. Went back 39 years with another handicapping friend of mine. And we did the research. And believe it or not, the West Coast team has covered 53% of the time going all the way back to 1980 through just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, there was one stretch in the early 2000s where West Coast teams struggled on the East Coast against the spread, but that was in the early 2000s. That's done. If the Rams lose this football game or any East Coast, or I should say any West Coast team loses against the spread or straight up on the East Coast any week, it's not because of the East Coast, West Coast time change. We did the research. Trust me, over 600 games and you're talking about 53% the West Coast is covered. So there you go. I like to clear up myths, and that's a handicapping myth. So if the Rams do lose this game, it's not because they're a West Coast team playing at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on the East Coast. It's because they got beat. Simple as that. We don't think they will get beat. We think they're going to win and cover. Our free pick is on the LA Rams, minus the points over the Atlanta Falcons. All right, again, don't forget, we got five plays in the NFL available right now, DocSports.com, all Sunday plays. We've got NHL going on Sunday morning. You'll be able to get that over there on Sunday morning, DocSports.com. Uh, and, of course, the NASCAR uh, picks will be available 11 p.m. Pacific time Saturday night, right up until race time on Sunday. Let's rack it up and let's have a great day on Sunday. Not a good day in college football for me on Saturday. Let's have a big day in Sunday's NFL. And I'll be right back here Monday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific with our college football opening line report. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's do it. Let's put Sunday in the win column. We're right back here on Monday.